Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Garden here, back with another plate up one shot. And today we're doing what? Burgers. Now, burgers is one of those dishes where you're going to get tons of customers by the end of it. That's just the way it goes. Um, there are a couple of things like fresh patties and cheeseburgers and stuff like that, toppings you can get. Which, if you're looking for automation, you don't want to do any of those. But as you see, we're rolling through day one, and we had how many groups? We have, I think we had three groups or four groups already, something like that. And burgers are very, very easy. Burgers are probably the easiest dish to make um you basically meat on bun and it goes super super fast because you see here we did lock out and get a research desk on day one and we're going to update and get the upgrade to get more plates because again i think we have we actually have five groups but it's okay that we um you know because we're burning through them quickly and all you gotta do again it, my, my rule of thumb is which i always say this guys is that if you have as many or fewer groups than you have tables call everybody every day now with something like burgers you can stretch that a little bit because if you have five groups you know all five groups are not going to be double groups like it's very rare to have 100 percent double groups or you know two two person groups when you're when you're every day here up to six groups again we got another research desk on day on i say day three but it was actually end of day two you wouldn't look at that and here i was like you know what am i gonna buy tables to push the messes back because i normally do that but the answer is no well no as of yet because why because burgers don't bring in that much cash like they're not a huge cash grab they're only three coins as you see and here i called a bunch of people and i just kind of do i call the rest i'm not really sure if i call the rest or not because here's a bunch of double orders but again, you can see, I mean, even though we're in double speed, if you just kind of slow it down to half speed, you can see just how fast burgers cook, which is what makes them great. Also, what makes them a little dangerous in a sense, because they can burn very easily. So we end up getting a blueprint desk. Now, again, with these played up one shots, the goal is to franchise and that's it. And if your goal is to just franchise a run, not go deep into overtime or at all, here I'm like, oh, what are we going to do? I really don't want to do mashed potatoes. I want to just roll through this. So we end up picking what? We end up picking, um, what should we call it there? So here I bought a blueprint desk. Now, I made a mistake buying that, in my opinion. And I ended up buying a better sink. Again, I'm not sure why I did that. I think it's just because I knew I have dishes to do. I end up locking in a blueprint cabinet, like I said. So if your goal is to franchise and just go up in as, as many tiers as possible, you'll play this run, in my opinion, similar to how I'm playing it. And it's basically, you just want to, you know, you, you, having automation is great for burgers. All you really ta need, actually, is two grabbers, a combiner, and that's it. Uh, a grabber from each of the meat and the buns, and then you have to have the combiner pointing at the hob, and then the burgers will never burn. Even if you use a danger hob, they'll never burn. Now, the issue here with individual dining is the fact that you have, you don't have more dishes to do, but you have more dishes to do. Because if you have 10 groups, you're having 10 people. You know, otherwise, if you have, say, five groups, you're not guaranteed to have 10 people of those five groups. So individual dining, you, you generically, I think, get more customers and here was a good choice not buying the other the other table that i was going to do in the beginning because why there was no there's no reason to buy it because we have individual dining now and there you go so what i'm end up doing is doing the sink and i'm doing a hob because i want to get another safety hob and i'm debating as i'm going along here i, I pass on a coffee table which was fine for the time being is um is that I, I'm thinking to myself, okay, with the one shot, what do I want to do? Do I want to try to set up an automation for this or do I just want to burn through it? And, you know, when you do these kind of runs like this, like normally I'd take a prep station. If I was going, you know, my plan was to go deep into overtime, I'd take a prep station all day long. But because the goal is not to do that, there's no reason to do that, right? Again, like I said, it's all about what, what you want to do here. And we're rolling along here pretty good. I mean, the customers, the counts will go up, obviously, because it's just the way it works. They will keep going up and up and up, and then you do see me kind of using a bit of a uh, a bit of a hack. Do I do I forget to do research? No, I don't. So the hack is that if you're at the towards the end of the day and a customer takes their plate and eats it, you can put a dirty plate underneath where they're eating, and the other one will spill on top of it because you can't double up plates other other than doing it like that. I go with exclusive here, and again, if this would be a, a longevity run, I would probably well, I don't know if I'd buy anything yet because I don't have any money. I only have ninety one. But again, you don't have to buy, you don't have to buy decorations because if you're going to a tiered run, the best thing you can do, I ended up not buying the danger hub because I wanted to get another safety hub and then the sink. I think I got a power sink there and I don't want a power sink. I want something like a basin or a dishwasher. Um, I mean, I guess a power sink actually wouldn't be bad here, honestly, 
but there I pass on a research desk. There's a combine a combiner, a, a conveyor, which I definitely want a conveyor belt because that's your first, you know, your first plan to automate is is getting a conveyor belt for the for burgers. And as you see, we're running along here. I passed on what were the cards I took on day three? I don't even remember what the card was anymore. <laughs> Honestly, I don't oh it was individual dining, right? So like if I'm at this point in the run, I'm like, you know what? I don't want to take sides. And and the reason why is because you know, sides will bring groups down, but it's not like doing stir fry or doing like pies or something where it's crazy the reduction. With burgers, you're still gonna have a lot of people. Do I mess up? No. I'm not sure. I, I, I tend to forget about research sometimes. We got another safety hob, which is fine. And now I'm thinking, do I actually need a safety hob? Do I need another safety hob? The answer is no. We could actually use a danger hob, but we're not there yet. So it's a lot of you know trickiness in the beginning here. I'm like, you know what? I don't want to do cheese soup, cheese because because if you have soup with um to here yeah i mean hindsight I shouldn't have bought that i should have just waited on a, on a danger hub and here's where i'm debating now do i want to buy a basin or do i want to get a dishwasher what do i want to do and then obviously i leave it alone in hindsight i should have taken the power sink because then i could have just rocked power sinks um but this is still fine because i can put the burgers on and i don't have to worry about them so like they're 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 you know actively cooking but they're passively just sitting there like they're not maybe passively cooking i guess it'd be <laughs> like i'm not actively cooking them so it's a good thing. I, I like it this way. And the trainers, I debate about locking them in, but the problem is you still got the mess. So it, it's a bit of a tricky thing here. I, I definitely want to, I mean, this is kind of, you're almost playing this as a speed run, where when you're speed running, you don't really want to take side dishes. You just want to take the mains and just take all customer cards. Even though you end up having more customers, tip, depend, okay, it all depends. Sometimes it pays off to take um, side cards or soup cards or something like that in a speed run. Typically, I would say no, because the amount of time that it would take initially to set up, you know, if you say you're getting soup to set up the soup, to set up this, to set up that, it's a lot of time that is taken, and you could probably run through almost a whole day by the time you, you reorganize your restaurant, unless you, from the beginning, you, pr you plan for that, which most people don't. We're already at day eight, so we're rolling through here. The, I'm debating, okay, what do I want to research now? I got the dishwasher. So again, hindsight, I shouldn't have bought the first sink. We're going to do our grabber, because now we have auto burgers, which is a good thing for us. At least one auto burger. I end up switching, swapping things around here a little bit. Move the sinks out of the way. And then what do I end up putting in here? I don't even know what I put in here anymore. I think I re-rolled to try to get something better. Now, again, those are two things that, again, longevity run. 100% you want to have a frozen prep station. I don't know if I end up even buying it because it's like, well, why? And the way I have it set up here, as you can see, is I take the one burger. Well, you'll see it. And I do it periodically. I'll take the one burger and place it on the other safety hob. That way it can be... You know, it can always be have two cooking at the same time like that. And all you really need additionally is you need a corner grabber and then you'll be fine. But again, you don't always have a corner grabber, so it doesn't really matter. And there we go. I think we're rolling along here pretty good. So there's another prep station. I keep calling people. And the thing is with individual dining, so when you do a dish like burgers or hot dogs are a bit trickier because you have the, the, the ketchup business and mustard. But if you're doing, if you're doing hamburgers, for instance, you know, using the phone to your event, using the phone to call is, is a huge thing. It's a huge thing because you see there we're getting seven coins per ring and that's not per group, it's per customer because each group, each customer is is a group, right? So if we have 20, it's going to be 20 rings. It's not 10 rings per 20 customers. Yeah, we're at 19 there. So I mean, individual is still a great card. I end up buying a couple of, do I buy these or not? Here, I think I debate what I'm buying. I'm like, do I really want another blueprint desk? In hindsight, <clears throat> I should have, gotten a copy desk not and here i buy the frozen prep again it's i shouldn't have bought it like it was it was kind of a, a waste here i'm trying to get maybe some bar tables i'm not sure what else i put it what else do i put in i put in a bin i guess just for planning for the future because i always like to be researching something look at this i mean i'm burning through people right now again i got another conveyor belt which is going to be great for us uh because we're one we're one well we're basically a combiner away from being able to have auto burgers done which is a great thing and basically with this it's just it's just you know rinse and repeat having trainers would be definitely helpful here uh, i just don't have them because you still are going to get messes with safety hobs not as much as with the the baby hobs the beginner hobs but you're still going to get mess so i am i end up blocking i think that was a combiner unless that was a portioner which i have one of the mods that I have, a quality of life one, lets portioners and combiners cycle. Um, just like it allow, allows the hobs between safety and danger, it allows them to cycle, which to me, that should be in the game anyway. 
because other things cycle too. Then I end up calling the rest of the group. And I'm just noticing by watching this back, the top table is actually turned the wrong way, like from how I like how I normally like having it turned, which is funny. And here I do the yeah, I do research, which is fine. We end up getting a bar table, which is good because I know people hound me, get bar tables, bar tables, bar tables. Because it seems like on my one shots, I get a lot of individual dining cards. Why? I don't know. I mean, I like it. I wish I get that through some of my normal runs. So here it's like, ah, oh, you know, we're going with, I don't want to go fresh patties. If, you, if you're set up with a, uh, a conveyor belt, or excuse me, if you're with a mixer and a grabber for the egg or whatever, you're good to go. But it's it's like, yeah. So here I put the, um, what do I put in there? Do I buy that other grabber? What do I do here? Oh, I lock in a conveyor belt. So there's the trainers. Do I get the trainer? I don't get the trainers. So I should have locked in the trainers because the messes aren't that bad. There's another cabinet. Like I said, so I, I ping it there now. And the reason why I pinged it is because if you're going a longevity run, you would definitely take a cabinet. For what we're doing here, just this one shot, just to franchise, you wouldn't have to do that. You wouldn't have to um, You wouldn't have to take... There's another blueprint cabinet, so I could have had two right there. Like, there's no reason to do that because you're never going to use... By the time that you franchise, you're going to be past that point of needing it anymore, right? So... But it's still fine. We're, we're still rolling along here. I'm calling the rest because look at eight coins per like you're, You make your money on individual dining when you can call. So that negates a little bit of having blueprint desks because of you, you do miss out on blueprints. Even though some people say, no, you don't. You, you still do miss out on some of them. It, you, you just do. Uh, it's just the way it is. And um, But it's fine. There I lock in, so there I lock in a another research desk. And the reason why is because, again, you're going to want to then try to start getting a copy desk that that would be the next goal to um I do my research there so I don't forget the next thing would be to get a copy desk because then you could start copying your grabbers or getting grabbers to copy them I think we ended up getting a grabber and a combiner there this is deco day so I don't end up doing anything do I buy I think I do buy it not that I actually need it because it's not doing anything for me honestly but uh, do I buy yeah I buy I think I do I think I do set up my auto burgers right now. Uh, yeah, put something in there just to put something in there. I mean, I guess do I buy it or do I not? I think I actually do buy it. Yeah, I think I buy. Yeah, I buy enough just to get me um, the next the next bonus. And I think I end up buying a, a chandelier just for no reason. I could have bought the flower. Doesn't matter. And, I, and here I messed up because I should have just bought the rug instead of buying the uh, the chandelier. But I put it in there anyway. It doesn't matter. So I don't actually have auto burgers set up because I think what I want to do is try to get. Um, either I forget, which I could, I might have forgotten. There's another research desk, another research desk. You see him popping off there. There's coffee tables. So with this, there's another, yeah, I got that one and I should lock in the coffee table. I don't know if I do though. I don't think I do, but a coffee table, there's another grabber. So now we're really getting, getting good with, with grabbers. And if we end up getting, I'm not sure what the research gives us with the research desk upgrade, but having a copy desk would be great because, you know, burgers are one of those dishes where you could very easily... Now, you don't have instant ordering, uh, but we do have you know, individual dining. So you could very easily, semi-easily, start setting up auto delivery and then obviously setting up auto dishes, which I always find, you know, auto delivery is better than auto dishes simply for the for the fact that, you know, with auto delivery, you have to grab a plate, put the, put the food on the plate, pick the plate back up, then serve it, um, you know, so it's a lot more of a pain in the butt to do that than to pick up a dish and put it in the dishwasher, in my opinion, of course. Here, do I forget? No, I don't. So we end up getting a copy desk, which is actually exactly what you wanted. Uh, I'm not sure. I think we end up getting a smart grabber there because I researched it twice. And there you go. So we're at day 11. We, uh, we'll we get another card after the next day. So here I have a, quite a bit of money. I end up buying, yeah, that's what I end up doing, buying one of these, which is definitely going to be helpful, which then in hindsight is like, oh yeah, I probably wouldn't have had to buy that. Here we have auto burger set up. And the reason why I didn't wait to copy the grabber that I have is because I don't need to because I have the conveyor belt there to copy and there we set up the copy desks. And I think we're, I do another hob because I want to switch it to get a danger hob. I go into practice because I have a mod that only allows smart grabbers to be set in practice mode, which I think is a, a standard thing uh, or should be a standard thing. There's coffee tables. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do I end up getting a coffee table? I don't think I actually do, do I? So what I would have done there is I I'd start loading up on coffee tables, especially because we have a coffee desk, because if I want to still continue, there's another coffee table, man, because if I want to continue to call people uh, to get more money and more money and more money, of course, now we do have an extra two coin or an extra coin per customer. And that's another reason why individual dining is, I think I locked in a buffer there by accident. 
because if you have individual dining and you have that plus whatever, like that's good because that means you're getting more more money, more money, more money. And here we're burning through this. Like we're, we're kind of out serving the, the cooking at this time because we don't have a danger hob or anything like that. But you know what? Auto is still, there's another, there's another grabber down there. I don't need another grabber, so I don't bother picking it up. There's trainers. Yeah, locking the trainers. That was a good choice at this point because it's getting, I mean, even though this is double speed, it is getting a little bit hectic. What I should do here, what I really could use would be another dishwasher and another plate stack or even, even just not even another plate stack, just another dishwasher. Because I'm taking all customer cards, eventually you're going to be overrun with customers and you're not going to be able to, to, to handle them. And then that's basically the way it's going to work. Now here, what I should have done is almost put the copy desk, swap it so, so it copies the rug. But it doesn't matter. And we end up getting a danger hob. So you may say, oh man, yesterday you, you got auto burger set up with the safety hobs and now you're going to get a danger hob right away. What's the deal with that? So here's like, I don't want to do fresh patty. Empathy is fine. Not a big deal. I get my trainers, which is exactly what I want. I think I yeah, just stick them right there. It doesn't matter. And then we're going to set up again differently. And then what I'm doing is I'm pushing everything back because how do I have this set up? Yeah, I have it set up like that. There we go. I'm pushing everything back because what we can do is we can have, well, you can see exactly what we're doing. They're buying the grabbers and there you go. And then I think I just put countertops or something in here just to kind of fill the space. Now, we don't actually need the floor protectors anymore because they're irrelevant. And then here I debate how I have this set up. And yeah, the safety hobs aren't used. Now, you may say, man, you're really kind of wasting, you're wasting, you know, safety hobs and wasting this. And here I mess up because I actually um, started myself outside of where I was supposed to set myself up. Oh, no, no, sorry. I was, I was in prep mode. Uh, there we go. Because I wanted to test. What am I doing actually here? I don't even know what I'm trying to do. Oh, I know what it was because I'm trying to, I got you. I'm trying to reset something. I totally forget what I was doing there um, because I wanted to set the smart grabber to take off of that. Not that it matters. Um, well, I shouldn't say it, it actually does kind of matter because what happens is the first burger will get cooked before the bun will get put on there. So that was actually a smart way to do that. Uh, if you're doing a safety hob, you don't need to do it that way because it's not too fast. But it's always good to have the smart grabber there. And as you can see here, we're at day 13. I'm debating about what to research. Again, if we're just looking to, to a franchise, you don't, have to re, you don't have to research much because we have all the cards we're going to need. You have day 13, 14, 50, three days to go. How many customers we were up to? 30 maybe. Now, what I should be doing here is locking in a sink, which I think I just missed the sink there. Now, you could lock in another prep station to have a double frozen prep. And a corner grabber will, will set you up perfectly for this. I don't think I end up going that route or that route. The table at the top, all at the top is still turned the wrong way, <laughs> which is funny in itself. And here I'm just calling people. And then it's like, I don't need to lock in another grabber but like, or a conveyor. But I mean, going forward, if I'm planning to go longevity run with this, I would definitely be locking in conveyor belts. So you're researching at least one to two every single day. And here I'm just you know waiting for this. So I mean, ha here having an auto auto dishwasher removal, which basically you'll need a smart grabber pointing away from the dishwasher, like pointing up from it, like to the top, and then a corner grabber feeding the plates back into the plate stack. Like that's all you really need to have, you know, an, auto, an empty, an auto dish setup. Like, well, okay, a basic auto dish setup. And there's another coffee table. Do I lock it in or not? I don't think I do. Well, it locks in itself, but uh, I would have locked it in anyway. And do I end up forgetting to do research? No, I got to do research. So we end up uh, getting a bar table. So I have it set up where I didn't really want to, yeah, we're fine here. So I'm just copying everything again. I'm copying. Yeah, I'm copying everything we need. That's all we got to do. And we're day 13, because I know as soon as you pick your day 12 card, you have nothing or 28 groups, which actually isn't terrible. So there we end up getting another grabber. And then, you know, here's bar tables. I'm not sure what to do with my trainers at this point. I think I might just leave them there. Uh, what do I do with the table? I think I just get rid of it. And just do something like that. Just have another bar table. There we go. Yeah, to have all bar tables. That's why I did it like that. And just stick that like that. That's fine. Because the bar tables negate the... Uh, I'm not sure which which patient's bar it is. And here we're like coffee tables. Might as well copy them. And then here in hindsight, again, I should be doing another sink. But again, it's all about what your goal is. I should have gotten rid of the danger hobs. Or maybe bought one danger hob. Got rid of the other one. And then upgraded the sink. But again, there's another cabinet. Like normally, yeah, you'd lock that in. No brainer. Yeah, so basically the way that the bar tables work is that there's no there's no thinking phase, I guess. So as soon as they sit down, their order is going to appear. So having instant ordering with 
bar tables is actually pretty good. And if you have the, is I think it's the the affordable buff, it removes thinking time. There's another conveyor belt. So in hindsight, I probably wouldn't, I maybe would have locked that one in. I would have locked that one in and the blueprint cabinet. And again, I'm calling people not because I need to, because I choose to. And it's going fine. Like we're not having any issues here. I think well, we're at 28 groups. No, I think a little bit more than 28. My biggest issue is picking up the plates and not putting them back in the dishwasher by accident. You can see here the danger hob is keeping up perfectly fine. Uh, here I keep having issues back and forth because I try to go too fast. Like that's my issue with a lot of this. And there you go. I mean, you could very easily have another, if you have a corner grabber, you're going to be set up for all you need. I don't think we end up upgrading any of those grabbers at the bottom because we don't actually need to. All right, there's day 14. We're rocking along, rocking along, rolling along here pretty good. So coffee tables, yeah. So what I would do here for longevity is I would just keep copying coffee tables. I try to get another sync action going here. I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I don't really have anything to up update to research because it's the last day. So here I locked in a sink and I probably would almost lock in a mixer at this point too, or maybe two, well, two mixers because if you end up getting the fresh patty card, then you can do fresh patties and it's 15%. And once you have a couple mixers going, you're, you're, you're fine. You could ever, the rest of the setup is going to be exactly the same. You'll just have your egg or whatever it is and you're in your, uh, you're mixing it. So, so as this day kind of goes forward, I do want to thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm kind of preempting that I'm going to actually succeed. <laughs> I think you guys know that I'm going to succeed. It's very hard for me to fail runs these days, like just normal franchise runs, because it's it, it's not hard. I mean, I could take all the food cards. I could take all this cards. And, you know, if you're still calling people on day 15, you know you're not struggling at all. And that's just kind of how I've been playing enough that I don't, I'm not the greatest player in the world, never say I am. But, you know, I, I don't struggle at all when I play the when I play these type of, of runs. I locked in another conveyor belt, just like I wouldn't need it, but I did it anyway. All right, guys, we are going to wrap. Well, the video is going to be wrapping up very soon because we're at the end of our run. I don't do any research, again, because you're just looking to franchise. And if you're just going to franchise burgers, this is like the optimal setup. You could get maybe more bar tables, something like that, get your auto burger set up, and that's all you need. I want to thank you guys again for joining me. If you enjoyed this video or this series, hit that subscribe button, tick the bell notification icon. We're going to wrap up here picking our franchise card. But in the meantime, I want to thank you guys for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next played up one shot and we're going to take over and i choose i think i actually choose grabber for this one i, I talk about why i know